Hey there, and welcome back to Design Loves Detail. I'm Molly, and today we are going to tour two of my son's rooms, so I'm gonna give you some fun ideas for kids' spaces. If you're new here, we'd love to have you like and subscribe. Well, yeah, anyone can like, but if you're new, we'd love to have you subscribe. And also remember to like the video because it helps us out a ton. We are starting here in my nine-year-old son's room. And if you haven't heard, I let my kids choose the murals for each of their rooms. So they all have a mural and I let them pick. And so made it kind of fun and made it more their own. I figured all this time I've like spent <laughs> making fancy kids rooms with trim and molding and all the things over the years and I'd still let them have a say but this time I was like no I'm gonna really let them have a say so we got dinosaurs and actually I was shocked that he picked the one that was um, cream and black because I gave him options that were colorful and anyways that were dinosaurs too because I knew he wanted dinosaurs I did narrow it down some but I really gave them a wide variety and I thought this one was actually pretty awesome to work with because it's fun with the map. He loved that it had the map and the dinosaurs. And then just like this neutral can really work with any color. So you, if you have a girl that loves dinosaurs, this is a really good one too. And you can bring in whatever colors they want. So anyways, super fun. And then it, like I love stuff that is kind of like teaches them stuff, just getting familiar with, you know, where the continents are and different um, dinosaur names. So big fan of his choice. And then I had ordered this slip cover bed a while ago. I love a slip cover bed. This one was from Bed Bath & Beyond before they like merged with Overstock and that weirdness. I really wanna know how that's going because that was such a weird thing. I was just telling Ben that the other day. It was bizarre. Cause Overstock is now Bed Bath & Beyond, but it's not Bed Bath & Beyond, it's Overstock. Named Bed Bath & Beyond. Anyway, share your thoughts if you want in comments on that. But this bed came from the old Bed Bath & Beyond because they had a line called Bee and Willow, which I think might still be available on One King's Lane. So I'll, I'll link similar if I can't find this exact, but I'm, I love it. It's super pretty. It's that mushroom color. So I feel like it adds kind of like some sophistication. And then, um, I don't know, it's kind of a balance of fun and still like something that I think he can have over the years where it's not too kiddish um he told me he loves his bed so that was a win and then he likes this obviously bringing in the <laughs> he was pretty excited about the dinosaur that was his favorite part of the room but then these tones that i thought were kind of like a little pop of color with this light dusty blue but then still kind of like you know not over the top where he'll get tired of it quick because sometimes i feel like when you go bright colors it you just get tired of it sooner so I kind of wanted like a restoration hardware vibe to some degree. Um, these I had found from Walmart actually, and they were a dupe for a really expensive one. And they're pretty cool. They have a little handle underneath here. We've got toys in that top drawer. But I love the texture of these, kind of interesting and fun, and then still kind of have a masculine vibe to them. So those were really fun. And again, um, links are always at the bottom of the video in the text below the description. So you can shop the space there. Um, some affordable lamps I grabbed. These I think were TJ Maxx or Marshalls online. And I wanted, oh, I wanted to bring in some of that darker, um, this is kind of a black charcoal type color. So I brought that in for the sheets so that we have kind of that rich color to ground the space. I almost always do white sheets, but I've really, decided to branch out a little bit with the kids' rooms just to make it more fun. And also because it's hard for kids to keep sheets white, even if you wash them a lot. And I don't bleach things. I've never bleached anything. Do people still bleach things? Uh, maybe, but I don't. Ben's saying yes, people bleach things. I don't. So it's smart to go with darker colors for kids. Loving that. And I always love simple pillows with like a long one like that. The rug, this is another TJ Maxx or Marshalls find. Can't remember if they still have it, but I will link it because it's a really good one. It's got a little bit of thickness to it and then that texture is super nice with it still being neutral but interesting. So that's a pretty good, good find as well. I'm gonna pop over to this side. Okay. We have 
These, another kid favorite. I love these for kids can use them for a laundry hamper. Super practical and then also useful to have a little place to sit. So definitely you'll see that I use these in almost all of my kids spaces and they're really affordable. You could really even have three at the end of this bed because he has a queen size bed. So curtains, these are ones that are from <laughs> two pages. Uh, I will link those. They have like custom looking curtains that you can actually order online and get the exact length and everything that you need so they have that perfect size. And I actually grabbed these uh, rings at Walmart. They're just a bronze curtain ring and the rod is Target. So it's like actually super affordable on the rod and rings. Uh, and these curtains are kind of like in between, but you can customize, like I said, with also a blackout panel. So I love that so the kids can sleep in. So these were definitely a good buy because you can see they have that high end feel. It really like makes the room feel classy and nice. Window well. Yeah, I know this is also kind of hideous out there. We did these concrete window wells and they have like the escape ladder and all the things because it's a bedroom. So I can't say that the views here are great, but my kids are luckily not <laughs> really to the point where they like realize that the kids in the upstairs bedrooms got like killer views because of where we live. They, they like think it's cool to be in the basement, these two boys, so that's a win. Um, everything has its pros and cons, but as, if you were like, if you were teenagers, I bet if they were all teenagers, I bet they would be like, wait, this one has, my six year old has this view out the window. <laughs> Go watch his bedroom if you haven't yet. Um, anyway, so kind of the same over here, just a little bit more color and um, kept it really simple. And he loves, my kids love having these big treasure boxes. Um, so it kind of was a win on both fronts because I love the design aesthetic and then they love to like hide their little things in there. He was telling me about it today. So anyway, let's pop over to the closet and see this side. I really should talk about barn doors for one second. Um, have you shown the light? Let's also look at the light fixture really quick. I kept these super simple. These were an Amazon find. I love a really clean flush mount like that and they were a great price. So really pretty to add a little bit of texture and interest. Oh, by the way, I usually try to film in natural light, but down here in the basement with these window walls, there's not a ton of light that comes in. So kind of had to turn on the can lights at least. I didn't turn on the fixture, but. So sorry, the lighting's not amazing. Uh, let's talk about barn doors really quick though, because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm over barn doors. I hear you. I am over them as a trend, but the reality is, they actually are very functional. It's kind of like a pocket door in a sense, uh, but I like them better than pocket doors because pocket doors just often have issues and they're like internal. They're harder to correct if anything goes wrong. Uh, and a lot of times they do get sticky and stuff. So I love a barn door because when you don't want to have a swing out, you know, have a door swing out into the room, this really is more minimal when you have the space to the side. So I love them functionally and I do love, I just kept this super simple. I do love the touch of the wood in this space. It kind of adds a little bit of richness and um, brings it up onto the wall because we do have the wood floors, but I love having uh, this slab of wood here on the wall too. So I did that in both of the boys' rooms. We'll hop over to the other one in just a second and we'll look in his closet, all the <laughs> essentials they have started moving in. We obviously have um, a few clothes, but mostly books and toys in the Nerf artillery section. So there's that. But I did do pretty good sizes on my kids' closets. They've got rods on both ends in this one. Actually, all their closets are kind of customized. But uh, so we have four rods and then a lot of storage for their stuff in the middle because I find that my kids really don't have that many clothes. They're not that into clothes <laughs> so far. Um, and we do have some storage space for clothes in these side tables that I that have the three drawers. So anyway, I feel good so far about having all of their toy and book storage as the center part of the closet. Okay, so let's jump over to my 13 year old son's room. Room number two, this is our oldest son. He's 13, so we got the teen stuff going on and you'll see what he picked for his mural just right over here. He loves the outdoors and all the adventurous things, hunting, fishing. Well, he doesn't really hunt, but he fishes. <laughs> and so he went with the trees and I love it. It's kind of got, it's got a fun vibe to it. And since we're actually in the mountains, it kind of feels like we just took a piece of what's out there and brought it in here. 
And I kept his like kind of earthy colors, but you know, again, kind of trying to keep it sophisticated, but cool. Cause <laughs> he's to that age where he wants it to be cool. So we did for bed, for the bed first. Uh, I love the black. I love the moodiness of the black, especially with the wallpaper. It almost blends a little bit, but I wanted that so it feels subtle. And I really wanted this to be kind of the standout piece, the tree wall. And so this high headboard though, I think looks really cool with it. I'll link similar. I can't remember if this one's in stock or not, but uh, pillows, just kind of those same grays and greens and then tans. So we have that mix of warmer earthy colors too, like you'll see in the throw here. And I did a reel actually on this bedding cause I picked up a lot of this at Kohl's. I hadn't been in for a while and I went in the store and they had these really awesome like down fill pillows for like 20 bucks with their sale. They have such good sales. My mom's like a big Kohl's shopper and she has like the credit card and everything. She'll always be like, oh, there's deals at Kohl's right now. So anyway, <laughs> it's actually been a minute since she said that, but she used to update me. And then waffle blanket for some texture at the bottom. I love mixing the texture and pattern, especially when you have subtle colors. I don't know, this is kind of a fun. And then there's just a little simple stripe on the comforter. Same curtains in this room as the other. So I talked about those in that first part. And that those rods are really fun, the target rods, because they kind of are out of the pipe, which I don't know if I mentioned before, but um, I kind of like that vibe for the boys' rooms. This chair in the corner, really fun, modern, simple. I wanted to give him a little place to kind of lounge. And so that worked out well with the little leather ottoman. Again, bringing in kind of that pop of texture and different materials combining. The rug, this one actually recently came back in stock and it's super soft, neutral, and they have it at, I think it was TJ Maxx for a really good price. So definitely one to grab if you want something along those lines. The nightstand is also a really good one. I'm waiting for those to come back. They sold out, but they're, they're good. I think they were like 199, pretty reasonable. And then they have that fun textured drawer with some storage and that combo of open and the real marble on top, which I love because again, just more materials to add to the space. And lots of the darker with the lamp and kind of the accent stuff I did too, to tie in with the bed. So same light fixture as the other room as well with that simple flush mount. Love that. And we're gonna come over here to same closet, but you can kind of get a peek for how the layout's different. This one's huge. So again, with the wood on the barn door and then this closet is even bigger because he has so many things that he collects that we needed storage space for those. So you can get a little glimpse of how that went. But this, the wall color is the one that's all throughout the house, but I'll mention it again, just in case it is Benjamin Moore, China White. Definitely one of my favorites. It has a grayish undertone and I love that because it just keeps it from looking yellow. So even though we have the lights on now and it might look a little bit that way, it's, it's a really good color that doesn't look yellowy, that still has some depth. It's not like a bright white. It's got some good, good grit. It's not the word I want, but close enough. <laughs> okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what you think about the rooms, what you like, uh, which one's your favorite. And if you have any questions or feedback, hit me up in the comments. We'll see you next time and be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. 